guys, it's Judy with My Life as Geek Eye. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look that I have right here. I actually am going to be doing a voiceover for this makeup tutorial just so that it keeps rolling along. I find that my makeup tutorials tend to take a whole lot longer than they need to when I am talking through the tutorial if that makes any sense but I will still do my best to talk through exactly the steps that I'm doing. Now for this look I will be using the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 eyeshadow palette. This one has been out for a while but I haven't actually done any looks with this one before. I have played around with the shadows but I haven't actually filmed anything with it and there are a whole lot of gorgeous shadows in this palette and and I actually used every single shadow in this palette for this look today because I got so sick and tired of having so many eyeshadow palettes that I only used maybe four or five shadows and they tended to be the browner ones or the black ones and maybe a little pop of brightness in the inner corner and that was it and I wanted to explore and get a little bit more creative with my eye look so this is the eye look that I came up with today I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and let's just get into this makeup tutorial okay so first off we're going to start with priming the eyelids I'm using the Maybelline master conceal concealer in a shade that's much too light for my skin tone but I want a light base so that the bright colors that I'm placing on top stand out a whole lot more. Now I'm setting that down with some RCMA loose translucent setting powder. Now I'm going to go into the shade Morocco and apply that very liberally all over my crease. I just want a really blown out color with this look and I'm basically applying that absolutely everywhere. Next I'm taking the shade Madagascar and doing the same with that but not taking it up as high as the first shade. Now I'm going to go into the shade Kenya, tap off the excess and start to concentrate this on the outer corner of my eye just to begin to give the look a little bit more depth and definition on the outer corners of my eye. Now I'm going to go into the shade Jezebel and apply that in the same place with the same technique of applying the shade and then gently blending it up. Now I'm going to take that same concealer and a small flat packing brush and then cutting my crease with that. As you can see, I open my eye so the concealer smudges up to my upper lid and then it gives me an indication of where to bring my concealer up to. I'm just taking my time with that concealer and really giving myself a very sharp cut crease. I'm also winging it out as you can see. Now I'm going to go into the shade Ya, yeah, give it a bit of a spritz and apply that right on the inner corner of my eye. Now I'm going to go into the shade Sheba, give it a spritz again, and apply that right next to the first shade Ya. I'm just really taking my time here, blending it up so that the pigmentation really shows up. Now I'm going to go into the shade Nairobi and apply that right next to the shade Sheba and sort of gradient those two colors together. Now I'm going to go into the shade Layla and apply that right next to the shade Nairobi and use this to deepen out the outer look and use this shade to also wing it out and create depth on the outer corner of my eye. Now I'm taking my time here and trying to not let that color go absolutely everywhere. As you can see, I'm also winging it out. I know it looks crazy, but I'm going to clean up under the eye afterwards. Now taking a makeup cleaning wipe, I'm going to clean up the outside of that cut. As you can see, that's why I allowed myself to be a bit messy because I was just going to clean it up again anyway. Now I'm going to take that shade Nairobi again and very gently pat that between where Layla and Nairobi meet so that it comes through gradient-like. Now I'm going to go in with my Jericho Cosmetics Active Serum just to apply a smooth base for the rest of my face. Now I'm going to go in with the NYX Angel Veil and use this as a primer for the rest of my face. I'm also going to go in with some of the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Oil just to give my face a little bit more of a glow. And now I'm going to go in with a Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This stuff stinks but it applies very, very beautifully to the skin and gives the skin a very luminescent glow. 
A lot of that glow has to do with the primers that I applied first though. Now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and use this to really highlight the face. I probably didn't need that much concealer, but oh well. Now I'm just blending all of that in. It's really, really important to blend the concealer right into your skin. Just keep blending until the concealer looks one with your skin. I'm just really taking my time here and just really working it in. Now I'm going to go in with some translucent setting powder and just set in the places I applied concealer. Now going into the shade Layla, I'm going to take this on the outer part of my eye just to create that wing. I went in with an angled brush just to give myself a little bit more control as to the sharpness of the wing that I am applying here. You can basically see what I'm doing. With that same angled brush, I'm going to go into the shade Cleopatra, which is a beautiful, rich blue shade. And I'm sort of giving myself a line where the cut crease and the transition shade meet. Now I'm going to go into the shade Egypt and take that from the inner corner to the middle, meeting where Cleopatra ends. Now I'm going to go into the shade Zuri, which is a beautiful bright highlight shade. And I'm highlighting the inner corners of my eyes with that. Now I'm going to go in with some black eyeliner. This is the Rimmel Creamy Black Waterproof Eyeliner. And I'm just taking that into my waterline. Not going all the way into the middle of my eye though. Now I'm going to go into the shade Kenya and take this under my lower lash line and buff it out under the lower lash line but not all the way to the inner corners of my eye so I don't close up the eye with darkness. Instead, I'm going to take Nairobi and apply that in the inner part of my lower lash line just to give myself a bit of brightness under there. Now I'm going to go into that shade Egypt and apply this right in the center of my lower lash line. Taking Cleopatra, I'm going to apply this on the outer part of my lower lash line. And I applied liner and mascara off camera. Now I'm going to take the shade Zuri and use that to highlight under my brows. It's such a beautiful shade. Taking my Morphe bronzer, I'm going to just warm up my face with that. I'm also going to contour my nose using the BYS Contour Trio palette. I'm now going to take that contour under my lower lip so as to make my lip look a little bit more full. Now I'm going to go into the Juvia's Place blush palette and I'm going to take that shade, I believe it's called Lena, and use that to warm up my face. I absolutely love how this blush looks on me and so I applied it everywhere as well. On my nose, on my forehead, on my chin, it's just so pretty. I love how it just really warms up the face. Taking my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, I'm just setting all of that in. And using my makeup sponge, I'm going to use that shade Zuri and use that as some blinding highlight all over my face. Now using some black eyeliner, I'm just redefining my beauty spot and a pimple that I had right there. Now I'm using some clear eyebrow gel just to set in my brows and taking some of that gold shade Nairobi I'm just applying that on the outer V of the look. Lining my lips with the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in the shade Addiction and then filling it all in with the Colourpop Gloss in the shade Aquarius. I'm taking more highlight and I'm applying this to my collarbone because I couldn't get enough of it. It's so freaking pretty. I just had to apply it to the rest of my body as well. Brush the hair and that's it for this tutorial. So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you found it helpful and informative in the steps that I was doing. I was kind of experimenting and making it up as I went along, but I did want to make it a point to use every single shadow in this eyeshadow palette. Juvia's Place is just so beautiful. Like, it is so gorgeous and easy to use. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. 
Why is there something playing out there? That was weird. Where was I up to? Girls and lifestyle. Please be sure to give the 